Hey, what's going on, y'all? Welcome to Meat Cranium Barbecue and Review. Today, I'm going to be taking the grill grates, put them on the Weber kettle over some hot coals. I'm going to be making some smash burgers on the flat part of the grill grates. I went ahead and I'm just going to be have some bacon, some cheddar, going to make uh, saute up some onions, some smash burgers. It's going to be on a sesame seed bun. This is a perfect tailgate idea. Now, to cut time down, I already made the bacon, and here's a little uh, little thing I did with the bacon. Now, let's get started. It's going to be quick, simple, and uh, something I've been wanting to do. I've been wanting to try that flat part out of the grill grates. So, one more point I'd like to bring up with the grill grates versus the true wave. Whenever I was looking for grill grates, I was looking for a size grill grates that was similar in size to the true wave and that gave me Davy Crockett ones which is like 12 inch by I think it was 10 inch is what those were. If I were to get the same exact size and they have, have a custom made from grill grates the 14 by nine and a half, it would cost an extra 10 to 20 dollars extra to get those to get those made to be the same size as the true wave so actually it would be probably right around the same price. So anyhow, uh, some people uh, said, well, it's not a very fair comparison. Well, it's actually it is a very fair comparison because that's the closest in size that I can get to the True Wave without having to get it custom made and spending more money. Anyhow, let's get started. All right, so I have the ring. This is out of my barrel house cooker. This is what you put the charcoal in. I like to use it inside of the Weber kettle. I have some lump charcoal going around here, and I'm going to put 20 uh, some briquettes in the middle here. All right, y'all, so let's get started on this stuff. You might see a little bit of smoke coming. That's because the, uh, the coals are still getting lit. What I'm gonna start off with first is I'm going to make the topping for the burgers, which is gonna be some, uh, right here. It's gonna be some mayo chup. I love mayo chup. But I don't buy just a regular mayo chup. I make it myself. So I'm gonna say probably about two tablespoons. Some mayo right here, two tablespoons, and uh, equal parts ketchup. And this is going to be the topping right here for the burger. If you have had mayo chup, mayo chup is pretty awesome. I also like to do uh, sriracha mayo too. I like to make some, some sriracha with the mayo. So it looks like right there. Boom. mayo chup. All right, next we have is some 80-20 uh, ground beef. It's about a pound. I'm just going to divide these up into about four ounce patties. That's about all you need. Not patties, but uh, balls. I filled in my palm. That's about, that's about four ounces. I don't pack it too hard. Just kind of roll it around a little bit. Make a nice ball out of it. There you go. Right there. All right, so for my next trick, I'm going to cut an onion. Onion's pretty simple. Just gonna be doing it really chunky, really big. Alrighty, time to get the onions on. Some olive oil. Olive oil down and get ready to do the smash burgers. Just gonna wait just a few seconds and I'm gonna smash these down. Some salt, some pepper, All right, so it didn't go exactly according to plan, but it's still going somewhat according to plan. Oh 
we don't see those. There's a real nice crustification going on there. Real nice. Oh, come on. Get in there. I'm about to uh, by the, do the cheese. All right, burgers are done. Can we go ahead and get a nice uh, sesame seed bun on there? Get that heat up real quick and uh, get this thing assembled. All right, y'all, so I think I got this done just in the nick of time. Tell you what, that sucker got pretty uh, pretty hot, but uh, easy. Mayo chup, brown ground beef. I forgot to put wart sauce, I forgot to put wart sauce on my burger. Hold on, let me do that, let me do that right here. Take that bacon off, and here we go. Got to put some wart sauce on there. Oh yeah, now it's a party. All right. Damn, that's a good burger. That is stellar. Easy, simple, quick cook today. Can you make smash burgers on a grill grate? Yes, you can. Anyhow, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe. I'll see you next week. Ciao.